guys, it's Lizbeth from Lizbeth Books. I'm here today to do the Mean Girls book tag, so let's get into it. Number one, it's, it's pronounced like Katie. Which fictional character's name did you get completely wrong? I'm going to go with, like, everybody in the book A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. I didn't know how any of the names were pronounced in my head. Like, I don't even think I gave anybody names. And then in the back of the book, it, like, tells you what everybody's names are and how they're pronounced. And I felt kind of silly that I didn't look at this before I started. I think it should have been in the front of the book. Because, yeah, I didn't say anybody's names like this. And then when the book was over, I was like, oh. I said this all wrong. I probably should have looked at that. Number two is, she doesn't even go here. Which character would you like to place in a fictional world from another book or series? I think it would be cool if Bobby Pendragon from the Pendragon series was in like the Harry Potter books for a thing because it's about how he goes to different worlds and I think it would be so cool if Harry Potter was one of the worlds that he had to help save from like Voldemort and I think it would work really good. It would be a really good spin-off in the series. Three is, on Wednesdays we wear pink. Repetition, repetition. Which book gave you deja vu of another book while reading it? I'm going to go with Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. It reminded me of a lot of different books at once. It was like Shatter Me and The Selection and kind of like X-Men and kind of like I don't know, other things? Like, I read it and I was just like, this doesn't feel very original. I still rather enjoyed it, but it wasn't as amazing as I thought it would be because it was so much like all these other books I've read in my life. Or is, you have to stop calling each other sluts and whores. It just makes it okay for guys to call you sluts and whores. Which book gave you the complete opposite of girl power feels? What does that even mean? Girl power feels. Girls can act however they want to act. I'm not answering this question, it's stupid. Number five is, you go Glen Coco. Name a character you felt like you wanted to cheer on while reading. I'm going to go with Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alourcians. I'm sorry, I totally said that wrong. But I just rooted for Aristotle and Dante and I loved them both and I just Loved this book so much. It was amazing and I should reread it. It was great. Five stars. I just wanted, I just cheered for them and I loved them. Yeah. This is Get and Loser. We're going shopping. How long do you typically spend at a bookshop? Ooh, it kind of depends. Probably at least an hour. Because usually when I go to a bookshop, I like eat lunch and get a drink and then I have to like walk around and look at all the books. So it's usually an hour to two hour visit. It's not like a ten minute thing. No. If it's not at least an hour, I'm sad. And it's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. Which character would have to get out a restraining order on you if they were real? What does that mean? Like, I'm, obs I'm obsessed with them so much that they would have to get a restraining order? Or they're bad and... Okay, I'm gonna go with Ron from Harry Potter because I love Ron and I'm obsessed with him so he would need a restraining order? Is that what that means? Or is it because they're in love with me? I don't really know. Sure. Okay. Next is... Eight. I can't help that I'm popular. Which overhyped book were you cautious about reading? And I'm going to go with All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony DeWare. It was just so big. I was scared I was going to buy it. And then I wouldn't like it. But I loved it. It's amazing. And she's a life ruiner. She ruins people's lives. We all love Regina George. Name a villain you just love to hate. I'm going to go with The Darkling from the Shadow and Bone series by Leigh Bardugo. What is this series called? The Grisha Trilogy? The Grisha Trilogy. Yeah, The Darkling. Love to hate him. Oh, he's the best, but he's the worst. And yeah. Number 10 is, I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Your favorite fictional parents. The only thing I could think of is Marilla and Matthew from Anne of Green Gables. They're just the best old loving people and they just love Anne and it's so cute. And usually in books, parents kind of suck. So that's why I was like, these are like the only parents that are nice and cute and I love this book. 11 is, that is so fetch. Which book or series would you love to catch on? This one. Love it. 
12 is, how do I even begin to explain Regina George? Describe your ideal character to read about. My favorite kind of characters are awesome assassins named Selena. Ding! 13 is, I just have a lot of feelings. What do you do when a book gives you a bad case of the feels? Um, read another book to get over it? Ding! 14 is, nice wig, Janice. What's this made of? Your mom's just here. <laughs> Which characters and one-liners would you love to claim for your own? And I'm gonna go with Dexter from This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. He's just so funny and this book makes me laugh so much. I love the character of Dexter and he just says the best things and him and his musician friends are the funniest and this book's so cute. I love it. And finally, number 15 is Boo You Whore. Name a time a character's decisions have made you roll your eyes. And I'm going to go with um, My Life Undecided by Jessica Brody. The main character was just very young and made some weird choices that just made me cringe a little bit. But it, overall, this was a pretty cute book. So it's okay she made weird choices because it was cute overall. But yeah, guys, that was the Mean Girl book tag. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.